Thanks for watching Wise Monkey. Uh, today we'll uh, show how to resolve a low headlamp issue with uh, we'll try this uh, new LED light that's um, made by I think Oxido uh, LED. So <clears throat> let's see how good it is uh, for 2005-2010 uh, Honda DC the number is I think 9006 HB4 and <clears throat> This one says the product specs. Its uh, operating voltage is 9 to 30 volts. Uh, the LED light uh, emitting diodes, right? And and the uh, my focus is having a little bit problem here in the camera. The color is 600 color temperature like 6000 degree kelvin so the uh, led that we use usually use at home are like uh, 5000 kelvin so this is brighter than that but not too too bright which is good because it could be uh, street illegal in that case right so it can be used at minus 40 degree fahrenheit which is i think also minus 40 degree celsius at that temperature to up to 176 degree fahrenheit up to 176 degree Fahrenheit so the uh, temperature range is pretty high operating li life is 50,000 hours it, it comes out to be about five and almost eight years 5.7 years or something which is why I uh, want to try this one and it's housing uh, material is an uh, uh, airplane grade aluminum right uh, aviation aluminum so that must be very good and so let's open it and see it's a two pack so when you buy one it's both pack let's see so i opened it i see they gave uh, gloves this is important uh, you don't want to put your finger on the glass of the bulb or leds um, oh okay so there's the user manual in english and uh, in english for sure and that's uh, there's the bulbs. Looks pretty cool actually. So these are the ones and housing. I thought it's uh, painted but it looks like it's uh, they say this uh, aircraft uh, grade aluminum. That's fantastic. It's pretty light actually but I never seen this before which is uh, of course I didn't see many. This is a fan here cooling fan. And this fan so and the vents here so that's actually cools the whole thing uh, as the headlight can otherwise overheat that's fantastic i really want to try this now these are the leds right both both sides and this has two pin so make sure your uh, your uh, vehicle like buy it for the right vehicle i'll actually give a link for this uh uh these bulbs uh looks pretty good and uh, i'll give a link at the uh, description of the video okay now what i'll do is i'll install one of these and i'll keep the old uh, headlight on the other one and compare side by side okay let's go install one of these so this is the RSC Honda RSC. This is a zero five six uh, Honda RSC. Now one thing, you have to make sure your headlights are clean, right? Clearer, so you can always use um, one of those creams or uh, toothpaste or whatever, and uh, clean it up before you uh, install this kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install on this side, the uh, front uh, passenger side headlight, which is uh, this is for the uh, low beam, so big one. This is the high beam, I think. And um, I'll keep uh, the existing one, which is the factory one, in this one. And we'll uh, show side by side comparison, okay? Uh, let's see. So open the hood, and there's the connector. Looks like uh, right type of bulb. So let me disconnect it first. It's just uh, we have to turn it, uh, turn that thing counterclockwise and pull it out then we can disconnect uh, the electrical line 
So once it's out, there's the tab. You press on the tab and pull it out. It'll uh, open. It's actually a lot easier if we, uh, instead of trying to bring it out from here, I went from the back of this uh, frame. There's a hole here. I think the other side has the same thing. Let's uh, install the new one now. First check if the connectors are same. It looks same connector, so. So I'm trying to install this one now. I need two hands, so I'll actually uh, pause it a little bit. So it went in. The entire uh, vehicle is empty here, but Honda made it so difficult, right? To put a headlight on. There's uh, no space almost. So what I found is helpful, what I found helpful is I, I, I put some uh, tiny bit of lubrication around that edge uh, so that the connector goes in very smoothly, easily. Now, let me put it in. So, yeah, it's in. Nice. So it clicked nice, so fit was very well very good so as uh, the click now the fan let's see hmm, nice so fan turns on now i'm gonna try let's pause a little bit this is the old one this is still uh, the <clears throat> halogen uh, type right uh filament bulb the original one now this is uh, exactly the same there, and it fit very well, nicely. That's good. I was worried that uh, this may not be the right fit. Let's see. So we'll uh, try the headlight now. Uh, one thing I noticed, uh, that um, door is open, that sliding door thing. I'll make a video on that too. That's the most common problem of Hondas, the sliding door open, right? So, I'll make a video, stay tuned. Now, uh, turn the headlight on, right? Oh, huge difference, left and right. The, the right side is the new, and left side is the old yellowish one. So now I'll cover the yellow one, then it'll show the right side, then I'll cover the right side, and we'll show the left side, right? It's a huge difference. Okay, so right now, the left left headlight is fully covered, blocked. I uh, blocked it. Someone is actually uh, blocking it. So now we'll be, you see how bright the right headlight is? Now we'll go to the, we'll do the other way. So now we block the other headlight, the new one of Zito, and this is the old one. So based on focus, trying to focus it right, yeah, this is the actual one. So it's way dimmer than, it's actually way dimmer. Uh, I don't know if the camera picking it right, but in reality it's uh, very dim. So now unblock it, see the difference, huge difference. So this is the Oxido only and this is the original uh, halogen light or so. Now cover the Oxido and now the Oxido is on. Okay, so one thing uh, we have to be careful though, if this is too bright for the oncoming traffic or not. That's a common problem if the oncoming traffic cannot see, right? Uh, we can even get ticketed for this. So you have to see your local uh, authorities, uh, what's the law, if a bright headlight is allowed or not. But these days, most of the manufacturers use LED headlamp. Even brand new cars are so bright, right? So I, I don't see this is extra bright or anything, but there's a tip. I give you a tip here. 
this is the new one right if it's really bright you can always run a run a nice similar color or black to to blend it to to blind it to shield this light a little bit so the light only comes out from the bottom part and the top 30 percent or so is covered if that's the case then uh, police cannot ticket you right i don't think this will be ticketed because it's not ultra bright it's not blinding bright and this is the original one which is gloomy and yellowish and look at this one so huge different uh, difference and now i'm gonna change the other one too so uh, i think i'll end the video here so i installed the other side i thought i'll end, end the video there but uh, felt like showing the uh, result together let's see uh, this one is actually a bit easy easier uh, there's a bigger gap here to do it from the side both headlights are uh, installed now i'll uh, i have about 100 meters uh, dark in front of me so it's a good spot to try quickly it's uh, it's completely bright it's completely bright so i turn on my turn off my cell phone uh, camera so this is really really bright and nice hold the uh, hold it this way no 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 hang on yeah so we can actually see the forest there right okay so let's see how it works I'll try again here. That's dark. This is with the headlights. This is really good. This is like bright light. So just make sure that it doesn't hit other uh, eyes and oncoming traffic. And also you can uh, always adjust the headlamp assembly to, to uh, uh, change the tilt. Change the tilt of the headlamp. So it, it should be hitting on the ground there which is, is doing right now nicely. So the headlights are not facing upward. Just make sure it does. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope this helps. I'll give you a link to the uh, headlamps. These are a bit expensive, not cheap, but they are not $300 uh, pair. They're like, I, I think $70, $80 per pair. Uh, it's, uh, it's 79 or so. So uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching.